everybody, this is Auto Tech Pro. Today we're installing 2013 Toyota Sienna. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the system and the feature to come with the system as well. Actually, the system comes with 10.1 inches high definition screen. As you can see, it's 10.1 inches, it's full touch screen as well. It's very nice. Okay, let's talk about the hardware specification of the system. The system comes with the 4 gb of RAM and 64 gb of storage memory. It also comes with the newest Android 10. And uh, the, this one also fully compatible with the original steering wheel control, original backup camera. It also comes with the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also comes with the Wi-Fi, so basically, um, you can connect to the Wi-Fi internet and then you can watch the YouTube, uh, use the Google map, you know, it's very nice, alright? So let's start from the navigation first, this is the navigation. In order to use the navigation, you just need to click on the bottom right corner here, and then new row, address, and then you can enter the address right here, okay? This is off now, you do not need to connect to any Wi-Fi to use the GPS, alright? So it's very nice and uh, user-friendly, alright? And um, we can talk about the car pre after, okay? As long as you connect to the internet, then you can uh, use the left fix here, as you can see, and uh, you can also browse the internet, okay? This is very nice, you can also search the information on the road trip, alright? And other than that, you can also download any of the application from the Google App Store. You can download the Prime Video, download the um, uh, Spotify, as you can see, we already have the Spotify right here. And you can also use the Google Map. The Google Map is the newest version, all right? So in um, as you can see, this uh, uh, this Google Map will allow you to download the map data to the unit. So once you download the data to the unit, so next time when you use the Google Map, you do not need to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can use the Google Map uh, uh, just like the offline navigation, all right? How to do that? Just click on the icon right here and then offline map. And then select your own map and then you can just download your own uh, map data in your area, all right? And then other than that, you can also go to uh, YouTube. Okay, this is the YouTube right here. You can, uh, this is also come the video in motion. So basically, you can uh, play the video uh, from the USB and then you can also connect to the uh, VR entertainment system, right? So let's see. I'm dealing with the future of the planet. Put the necessary shock to the system. Change. As you can see, the resolution of the screen actually is very high, right? So uh, this uh, this car also comes with the original backup camera. I'm gonna try the backup camera here. You can see that after the installation, both screen will show the backup camera image. You can also increase the brightness here. Okay, it's very nice. Okay, and other than that, you can also um connect to the Bluetooth, listen to the radio. As you can see, this one is very nice, and and of course you can also you also come the equalizer, all right? So this is the equalizer right here. You can also change the setting here based on your personal preference, all right? So I'm gonna talk about the wireless Apple CarPlay right now. This is also support the wireless Apple CarPlay. In order to use the wireless Apple CarPlay, you will need to uh, connect to the Bluetooth first, okay? Once you connect to the Bluetooth, the system will automatically switch to the Wi-Fi at the background, all right? So basically, bring out your cell phone, connect to the Bluetooth. Let's check the Bluetooth device name here, all right? And then it's car kit, okay? And then you can just connect the iPhone. 40 pair once you connect that one and then wait until you see the icon over there you can see the bluetooth icon over there that means you uh, you already connect successfully and then click on the car play here pay attention to the cell phone because there will be a message to ask you to ask you to grant the authorization this cell phone come with the ios 16 and this unit also fully compatible with the ios 16 as well okay This is wireless Apple CarPlay, it's wireless. Of course, you also support the Android Auto as well, okay? This is some, when you click on this one, you will see all the icon will show up on the screen. You can check the message here. You can also type the message on the uh, on the system as well, okay? And this one also comes with split screen feature. This is the navigation way right here, all right? And uh, you can also make the phone call, you know, and uh, listen to the music. And uh, this system also comes with the voice control. How to use the voice control? You just need to hold the icon. 
What's the temperature today? The high today will be 29 degrees Celsius and the low will be 13 degrees Celsius. All right, or you can bring me to the gas station. One option I found is Esso on Kennedy Road. Perfect. Want to try that one? As you can see, it's very nice, okay? The interface is very cool, okay? It's very nice. It definitely changed the whole look of the car. Why don't you keep all the original setting, original feature of the original vehicle, okay? <laughs> this system can also be purchased from my website, www.autotepro.com. If you guys have any question about the system, please contact us, Autotepro. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.